Welcome back to Adventures Way. I'm Diana and this is Matt and today we're going to visit Yucca House National Monument. Yucca House National Mon Monument preserves one of the largest archaeological sites in southwestern Colorado. What's special about it, it is unexcavated, so it preserves the site that has been untouched for almost 800 years for future generations of visitors and scientists. But here's the interesting thing. Because it is unearthed, we're not sure how much there is actually to see. It's possible that it's just kind of a grassy field area. Normally, visitors can go along and do a kind of a self-guided tour. However, there is a ranger-guided tour put on by the nearby Mesa Verde National Park, but they only had four tours this year. Fortunately, today is one of them, and it is the last tour of the year. So we've booked ourselves some tickets, they're only $10 each, and we're going to go along for a ranger guided tour. It may just be a tour of a field, we're not really sure what to expect on this one. But what we do is we meet them over in Cortez, we're boondocking about 20 miles away, so we're going to meet them in Cortez and then caravan over to the site with them. Yucca House National Monument preserves a huge ancestral Puebloan site, but unlike other locations, very little has been excavated here due to pressure from descendants of the Puebloan people to protect this sensitive area. To the untrained eye, it just looks like a field, albeit with a few rocks and bumpy sections. And our eyes are distinctly untrained. Fortunately, our National Park Service guide was on hand to help. This is a place where there's more archaeological sites than anywhere else in North America. That is where the Great House is, and the Kiva in the middle. Probably three, maybe four stories, and now it's all just inundated with, with brush. We were given a couple of maps of the area, showing the results of archaeological surveys over the years. With these maps and our guide's help, we were able to identify some of the more prominent features, including remnants of walls, kivas, and the upper house. This is a grayware, and it has that corrugation on it. And that pottery is your daily household pottery. That's the stuff that they were cooking things in. They were storing grains or water. There are two main buildings at Yucca House, the upper house and lower house. The upper house is huge, containing around 600 rooms, a great kiva, and around 100 smaller kivas. To put that in perspective, Cliff Palace at Mesa Verde National Park has 150 rooms and 23 kivas. Look at the stonework. Every one of those blocks was shaped by hand with the harder stone to make them into those really perfectly formed bricks. You can see how they're pecked on the outside. That, uh, that is typical of the Pueblo III construction style, that last phase here in the Mesa Verde before they all left, which really is about the, the early to mid 1200s. This is 13th century construction, probably some of this started earlier on. Do we recommend visiting Yucca House National Monument? It's unexcavated, undeveloped, and there is very little for the untrained eye to see. Furthermore, with no facilities whatsoever, Yucca House National Monument is not set up for visitation. Without anyone ever saying it explicitly, it was clear to us that this isn't an area keen to attract visitors. If you can't get on one of the National Park Service guided tours, and you don't know much about the history here, or you aren't prepared to do the research ahead of time to help you interpret the ruins, you will be disappointed. All you'll find is a bumpy field of rocks with a poorly defined trail. Without a doubt, Yucca House National Monument deserves the protection it enjoys as a national park unit. But unlike others which are set up for visitors to explore and enjoy, maybe the best thing we can do for Yucca House is to just let it be. Welcome back to Adventures Way. I'm Diana. And this is Matt. And today we're going to visit Yucca House National Mon Monument. I keep saying memorial. I don't know why. I don't know why either. So right. Uh -huh. 